right, everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can set up this free template I'm giving away for system.io. It's a lead funnel, so it's meant to capture emails and send them to a thank you page and then automate some email automations as well. If you guys haven't grabbed this yet, you just click the link down below. I'm going to send you guys to this blog post, which pretty much explains more about the specific funnel, why I set it up this way, and all that. All you got to do is click this link right here, and it should send you to this page where you can enter your first name and email you'll get an email with the link where you just have to click it once and you'll it will automatically get imported into your system.io account and then here in this blog post I'll also give you guys some templates for your emails so you guys can set up and have your lead funnel set up fast here within like 10 15 minutes and in this video i'm going to go over pretty much how to set everything up how to connect your email automations to a specific template and yeah so let's get to it so you're going to get an email with a specific link once you once you click that link it's going to send you to this page here which is pretty much a template i just gave you guys so we can just click this i icon here and then you, as you can see this is a template that you guys are going to get instant access to it's also mobile optimized so if we go to mobile version here you can see it also looks great on mobile devices which is really important nowadays so in this case i'm just gonna help you guys edit a few things let's see right here so if you guys want to change the color in this obviously you can just click the buttons and go down here color and let's say let's try let's try red and then you can do the same thing for like sections here let's just change that to red you can change these dark blue colors as well but let's just leave it like that for now and then you can just go ahead and kind of do this for all the buttons but i do want to show you guys this specific feature i added to this template as you can see there's a raw html element here if you click on that and you go here to edit code you can see this is all code which created this background image here and i did that so you guys can change the color if you go up here and hover over this HTML section, click that, go to edit code, and then you go all the way to the end, you can change this color here, which is going to change the color of the blob. So in this case, I already have my hex code here in my in my clipboard. I just pasted it, I just hit save, and now as you can see it changed that background, which is a pretty cool feature. Kind of makes you guys customize, lets you guys customize this to your liking. So that's that looks pretty good. Hit save and then you can just go in and kind of click with this and enter your your life changing headline here for your audience and then as you can see you can just hover click and edit all right so let's hit save let's exit out of this all right so in order to set up the emails we're going to have to create a campaign which makes things so much easier so we're going to hover over emails go to campaign create and let's, let's just put email one for now save click on it add email and we're just going to put here our basic information mobile.com let's put let's actually grab the actual headlines here the actual subject lines so this is it right here i'm going to paste that i like using a classic editor just because it makes things more simpler and easier to read for people actually reading it so now it's going to open this email editing section so we're just going to copy this paste it here and then you can go in and kind of modify this this section here to enter your actual product and then usually you're gonna have a freebie right so in this case you can either add a link here to where they download it or you can add an attachment so when this email goes out you can send them the file directly so in this case you can just click your attachment choose file and then you can just choose a PDF file for example and link it to this email so every time they get this email they're also going to get the pdf file that they requested all right so you have this section here you just got to go in and kind of modify this to your liking we're going to hit save and then again we're going to add another email and let's do the same thing 
we need to set up our basic information. Tab email number two, which is this one right here. This is a subject line. Classic editor, create. And then same thing, just copy this. Make sure to modify it to your liking. You can also use these substitutes in the email. So for example, if you collect their first name, you can grab this placeholder and put put it here. Hi, first name. And system.io is automatically going to add the first name here. So it seems more personalized to them. So that's one little tip for you guys there. Hit save. And let's add another email. So I gave you guys three emails here that you guys can use. Let's put subject line here. Put your name and your email that you want to send it from. Editor, create. And then again, we're going to do the same thing again. Just paste that. Make sure to modify it to your liking. And then hit save. All right, so now you have these three emails set up. As you can see, there's a delay here, zero minutes. This means that they're going to be sent out automatically, which is not what we want. So let's actually go in and change this. So this is the first email, second email, third email. Let me go back. We want this first email to go out automatically, so we're just going to leave it as zero minutes. We want this one to go, like let's say we want it to go a day after. So you're going to hit save and publish. Put one, change this to days, and we want this to be sent after. All right, so I guess we need to set this one up as well. We need save and publish. This one is going to go zero hours, so it means that we want it to go out instantly. So we're going to hit publish. All right, so this one's going to go out immediately. Then this one's a day later. And then we want this one to go out a day after um, the other one. So we're going to hit save and publish a day after the last one we sent. So it's going to be two days after they subscribe. All right, and now this should be ready to go. And now we can go back to our funnel. And we can go to automation rules. And we can, if this isn't there, let's actually delete this. If that's not there, we're going to click add rule. When somebody subscribes, we're going to add an action and we're going to subscribe and subscribe them to the email one campaign that we created. Hit save. And now we should be ready to go. I believe we can even add tags so we can create a tag. So you can just. <laughs> Create one that says lead, go to our funnel, and add another action here, which means we can add a tag as lead, save, and now you can keep track of all your contacts that have a specific tag. So any, you can see how many subscribed today, how many subscribed yesterday. You can keep track of all your leads that way. Uh, let's see. So now that's pretty much how you set the landing page and your email templates. Let's actually go back in here, see if we missed anything. Oh yeah, so this template actually has a pop-up. So if you click here, it's gonna pop up this pop-up, which is where they're gonna enter information and all that. So in order to change that, you're gonna go here to pop-ups. You're gonna hover over this eye icon, click on it, and then this is where you're going to be able to edit information here. So you're going to change this to something that matches whatever you're giving away. We're going to change this color button as well to make it match our theme, something like that. And then if you click the button as well, you can change the action. So in this case, we want it to send this form. And then afterwards, we want them to be redirected to the next step, which is our thank you page here. So you can go in and kind of edit that as well to your liking here. You can change this to red. As you can see, I just showed you guys how to do all that. Or you can send them to a different URL or just not do anything at all. All right, so hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions on this, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you guys want more video tutorials like this, where I kind of go over specific funnel templates and how to edit it, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be releasing more of these here pretty soon. And like I said, if you guys don't have this template yet, make sure to click the link down below. 
you're going to get sent to this blog post here, which explains more about it. And you're, you're going to be able to import it into your account immediately for free on an awesome platform that I use every single day for my business. All right. So I'll leave you guys to it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below or message me here at funnelvibe.com.